Hi, I'm Mindy Burgoyne and this is your Haunted Minute and I'm standing in the most haunted wooded area in Maryland, the Pocomoke Forest. You can see all around me is thick forest. And luckily we have this beautiful walkway that the citizens of Pocomoke have put in here so that by day you can walk this path and see nature uh, uninterrupted by development, a true cypress swamp. And it is gorgeous. But by night, the forest is very thick and there are more stories about hauntings in this forest than any other one single place in Maryland, and they go on for 200 years. There are a handful of sites out of the 130 some sites that I've put on the ghost walks, the Chesapeake ghost walks in 10 towns and bus tours. There's only maybe six, seven, eight where I've had a personal experience, and this place is one of them. In fact, I'm so scared of being in this forest at night that I won't even do that ghost tour anymore. I have a paranormal investigator um, guide who will do it for us, and he does a great job, by the way. But it's just full of energy. It is charged with spiritual energy. And when you walk here at night, you can experience that. Now, before I go on any further, I need to tell you that you can't walk here at night, not unescorted. The park is closed um, at dusk. But if you come on a ghost walk, they allow us to go through. So we can take you through if you sign up for a Pokemon Ghost Walk. So please, disclaimer there, don't go wandering into this forest at night when it's closed because the police have cameras, they will see you go in, they will come and get you, okay? So take a look at what we've got here. I'm gonna tell you one story that has been living for 200 years, and that's the story of the cellar house. The cellar house was a house built on a rise just up the river. The river is right through here uh, on the other side of this wooded area. And in the cellar house, there was a French smuggler, sea captain. They believed it's called the cellar house because the legend was that there was a cellar in the house and tunnels leading to it. So as boats came up the Pocomoke River to go to Snow Hill, you know, uh, loaded with goods or coming out with goods, uh, on, hit, on a particular boat, you could smuggle things off, take them in the, through the tunnel up to the cellar and store them and sell them on the black market. Now, the owners of the cellar house, which still stands, say there aren't any tunnels and they've never found any, but that's what it's been called. But this French uh, sea captain had an American wife who was probably a local. They think that she was related to the Stevenson family. She became pregnant while he was away at sea. And when he came home and he found his wife in that pregnant state, he beat her, threatened her, nearly killed her, but she got away. And she went to live in town. She had her baby, but she couldn't survive. She decided that her best shot was to come back and throw herself on his mercy and hope that he would take care of her and the baby. So she loaded her baby up, they got on a raft, and they started to paddle up the Pocomoke River. But she wasn't good at what she was doing. Ended up unsettling the raft, the baby rolled over the side, and she screamed, and she tried so hard to find her child, but she couldn't. It was a rainy, awful night. She managed to swim to shore. She found the cellar house, she knocked on the door, her husband did answer. She begged him to take her back. She told him, well, the baby's gone. Won't you take me back? And he took her by the hair, dragged her upstairs, beat her, and stabbed her to death. And that was the legend. That's the local lore that that's what happened. Some people say that the French uh, sea captain smuggler had six fingers. And that sometimes when you park your car in or around the Pocomoke Forest between here and Snow Hill where you can stop a car, when you come back, you'll see that six-fingered handprint on your, on your car. Several people have seen that. But what really happens is right on the other side of these woods where the river is, from Pocomoke all the way up to the cellar house and a little beyond, fishermen and people that are kayaking on the water and people that have been out in the region at night over the years have claimed to hear the screams of a baby and the screams of a woman, almost like a banshee. Just one large, loud scream. How do I know this? I found it in the folklore collections. I found so many uh, interpretations of this one story that it has to be rooted in something that happened. But people still hear the screams. People say they still hear the screams or a phantom dog barking. That's another thing they say. But the cellar house itself is now a venue that you can rent for events. It's beautifully restored um, and it is said to be haunted by spirits. Now, I haven't, that's a story for another day. But if you're walking in the Pocomoke Forest, be careful. Go in the day or come on a ghost walk at night. If you really want to feel spiritual energy at its thickest, come in here with us at night. It's an amazing experience.